Hello, hello. We are back for part three of looking at American hunks. And of course, if I was teaching this course in um, higher ed or something, if I was the instructor, that's my rank at the at the university. Uh, this is the book I would use as my my uh, um, my textbook. So. This is just covering a decade. This is the Depression Physiques. We have this lovely picture over here of Russell Sorrell's Graceful Pose. And this is by Edwin Townsend. So this is getting through the Great Depression. Um, so all of a sudden, you know, in the U.S., the De Great Depression was it was pretty crazy. You know, the Dust Bowl and lots of crazy things happening. But what flourished in some respects... Of course, people, uh, they are um, inventive and want to keep busy and um, things don't affect them. And, you know, across the board, everybody's a little different. Here it says two athletic chums in uh, Los Angeles. Here. This is Nathan Tabachnik of Albany, New York, displays his physique in 1930. Strength and Health, uh, Bob Hoffman. Uh, this is Paul Gaza of Redford, Ohio. Had someone take this photo of muscular back and bottom. The fact that a rural boy would send in such a picture is evidence that times were changing. Look at that. That is, that is some primo stuff. In fact, let's look at it closer because, wow. That's um, that's impressive and very low. Okay, so this guy is Sam uh, Judenberg of Minnesota. This is August Carboni, very olive skinned. This is Frank Rossa, very developed up here. This guy reminds you of someone you're you're in the gym. You go to the locker room and he's just sitting there. The, st the blank stare on his face. Here is the Arena of Strength, one of the um, fitness magazines of the time. Uh, this is uh, Jack Sergison. Placed a piece of pottery there. Well, he's showing he's a little skimpy uh, briefs. Um... The young man was an amateur weightlifter, and he competed in several local competitions until the 40s. Here we have, uh, this is a colored photo of Buddy DiCicco, De C-D-I-C-E-C-C-O. This is anonymous. I love the color, though. The color is quite lovely. Here we have... One of the most important events in the history of American hunks occurred in Los Angeles in 1932, when the city was the site of the Olympic Games, bringing athletes to Southern California and thereby to the attention of the movie industry. So, do you recognize who that is? Well, that's the same man here. It's Johnny Westmuller, who is, of course, Tarzan. Um, and then also... Let's see, we got um, Summer's Duke Kahamakono. Um, uh, Buster or Larry Crab, who took over after uh, Johnny Westmuller. Uh, Johnny Westmuller. And Red Cross representative Boy Scout Messengers, both Crab and Westmuller. We'll go to Highly Six Careers. Here's a cigarette card from Player Cigarettes of Johnny Westmuller. Here we have um, Wes Mueller and Cheetah. And this is Buster Crab, who was an Olympic swimmer, so he took over from him. Johnny West Mueller, of course, is you know, one of the, you think of some uh, physique originators, Johnny West Mueller is definitely the one. Uh, 
uh, people think of because he has such exposure. We have the original Flash Gordon. Uh, Buster Crab was in that. Buster Crabby. Crab. Um, this is Herman Bricks on the left. Yeah, Herman Bricks. Bricks' smooth Nordic good looks attracted the attention of movie makers and career, and a career in front of the camera soon beckoned. They're both very attractive. It's a very modern picture, to be honest. Here's uh, the new Adventures of Tarzan, 1935. At Bricks, Herman Bricks, there. And Charzan's chimpanzee sidekick is not called Cheetah in this version of the story, but rather uh, Nikima, as in the original Tarzan novels. I have not read any of the original uh, Tarzan books, though. Nikima. Uh, here is Nat Pendleton. Is Pendleton Pendleton? Ah, uh, there's Clark Gable, who's supposedly wore Chanel number five. Um, Clark Gable, tormented star, by uh, let's see, hundreds of other human roles may not have been quite the heterosexual that it was cracked up to be. No doubt Gable had good reason to conform to his manly um, hulkitude by pumping iron in the jump. Uh, my favorite, I, of course, I love Gone with the Wind, but um, I love The Misfits. He's so good. His last movie with um, Marilyn Rowe and Montgomery Clift and, um, oh God, the two other characters, the very, um, Eli Wallach and who's the woman, the other woman? Oh, she's wonderful. Anyway, amazing movie. If you've not seen The Misfits, it is, uh, it's a, it's a strange movie, written by Marilyn Monroe's then husband um, Arthur Miller, um, but she's lovely. She's you cannot take your eyes off of her. She's amazing, and Montgomery Clift is, of course, uh, absolutely gorgeous too. Here's another Edward Townsend photo. Edward Mayer, the local weightlifter. Edward Mayer. And here we go to Townsend, um, Anonymous Nudes. This is Hugh Horner, it's Anonymous this is Hugh Horner. And of course there's Tony, Tony Sansoni. And this is Dan Lurie. Very similar, but look at the, the I, and especially if you were in New York, you really had a, a lot of different um, ethnicities or, or I guess, but not ethnicities, but like, you know, Italian, um, Irish to pick from. And the Italians, there was a lot of Italians in New York and um, beautiful olive skins. So it was great to, photo uh, to photograph them, especially very angular faces. Hey, and there's Rhythm, which I've shown. Um, Tony Santone's released Rhythm. Uh, George Jowett, Jowett's bodybuilding. I love that sort of. Look there. Here is, this is Fred Ritter. Beautiful, 1935, and not edited. Gorgeous, oiled. Look at the line there. The foot. I mean, wow. And this is the Ritter brothers. They consider themselves ardent naturists. So let's, let's look at that. Oh my God. Absolutely beautiful. There's always an untamed wilderness there. This dated 1935. This is uh, Jiffy Jim Pocket, Ed Zabrowski, and this is Tony Terlazzo. Tony Terlazzo. Sigmund Klein. Klein is the vicious pugilist. Uh, his adversary is Raymond Van Cleef, former acrobat and later staff writer of several muscle magazines. 
miracles and muscles. He was called Rochester's Gay Calabero uh, back in the day when gay simply meant happy. His real name was Arthur Gay. I mean, wow. His, uh, his face very handsome. This is, uh, oh, it's uh, Grimmick. Um, where's Grimmick? John Grimmick, yes. He is lovely. John Grimmick is very nice. John Grimmick, and again, John Grimmick. This is uh, John Grimmick again, and then Carl William Rash, Bill Rash. Photographer Herbert Schuler of Perth, Amboy, New Jersey. John Deinbacher here. And this is Johnny Norris. That's a lovely pose. Look at that nose, though. It's a nice nose. I like big noses on guys. I really do. This is uh, Al Urban. Oh, wow. A modern guy. This is um, Dave Asnes, athlete and gym owner who posed for Urban in the mid 30s. Got a wee Willy Winky. Uh, let's see. Is Cupid a hunk to my Valentine? 1920s. Here we have Al Urban again, Jules Bacon, and this is African American guy, uh, Kenneth Pendleton, an exception. Look at the muscle of those legs. Here is Dick Falcon, and here's Falcon. Oh, Dick Falcon was a confirmed nudist. Um, this is an anonymous guy, so Dick Falcon's a photographer. Good lord, that's a. If that's soft, that's uh, wow. What are you gonna do with that? Um, classical images, the aesthetic body. This is Barton R. Horvath, the model. And this is uh, Nick Hamperani, Hamperar Hamperarian. This is 1935. This chapter goes on and on and on. Uh, Jim uh, Grabitz. One of the most handsome men to ever photograph was uh, Bill Hard Hargart Hillgartner. He is quite handsome. This is, like many, uh, Hillgartner was also a zealous naturist. He discovered that he could make a fairly good living by telling by selling pictures of himself. 1936. So he's fully nude here. Same guy. Military hunks. Wow more common uh, as the nation and the world march toward war. May of 36, it's a flower bag, Atlas shoe polish. Cimarron, uh, notice his shirt's ripped again, the beefcake. And this is George Brent at the height of his hunkdom 1934, he played a handsome cat in the Garbo tearjerker, The Painted Veil. Hmm. Movies. Oh, this is cute. You've been my Valentine. Society Girl movie poster. Spencer Tracy. Not one of my favorite uh, actors. I, Spencer Tracy, I always think of as an old man, old dirty man. And then Diamond Giant Mucilage which is like a sort of serial. Um, and then Superman at War is the next chapter. This one was long enough, but wow, what's some crazy, great photos. So anyway, thanks for watching.